The following is a class on the Srimad Bhagavatam, 5th Canto, 5th Chapter, Text Number 2, given by His Divine Grace, A.C. Bhaktivedanta Swami Prabhupada, recorded on the 13th of April, 1975, in Hyderabad, India. Sri Rupam Mahasivang Dara Mahurbu Mukti Samadvarang Jusitang Sangisanga. For two days you have explained Mahaseva Dharam Ahud Bimukti. People have forgotten at the present moment what is the meaning of mukti. They do not know practically. Mukti means to get out of the clutches of the stringent material laws. That is called mukti. We are at the present moment conditioned, so many conditions. So mukti means to live without condition. That is called mukti. The mukti definition is given in the Simad Bhagavatam. Mukti Sarupena avasthiti mukti hitya annatha rupam sarupena avasthiti. This is called mukti. We are not in the sarupa. Sarupa means spiritual form. That is called sarupa. At the present moment, our material conditional body, that is not sarupa. Last night I tried to explain. Sarupa means satchit ananda rupa, that is sarupa. Eternal, blissful life of knowledge. This is not sarupa. This body is not eternal. Neither it is blissful, it is full of miseries and without any knowledge. So this is not sarupa. Sarupa means eternal life, blissful life, and full of knowledge. That is called sarupa. So do we do not know that we are now living conditional life, virupa, which is not my sarupa. This is the science. That sarupa can be perceived, can be realized, that is described in this Bhagavad Gita, Brahma Bhuta. Brahma Bhuta, spiritual realization, that is also not Sarupa. That is the beginning of self realization. Brahma Bhuta Prasannatma Nasochati Nakankati Samas Sarvishu Bhuteshu Mad Bhakti Lavati Paraha. That is Sarupa. After Brahma realization, when one is perfectly free from all material anxieties, that is beginning of sarupa. And then the conception of equality, sama sarveshu bhūteshu, pannita samadarsena, those who are learned, they have no such distinction that I am Indian, you are American, you are Bengali, I am Andhra, and this. No, this is all virupa. All virupa. Sarvapādi vinin muktam. We have several times explained. We have to be free from all these designations. That is sarupa. Designation less. But we are now busy with designation and fighting. That means we are not yet completely educated. Krishna also chastised Arjuna in the beginning. Asachyananusutastham prajñāvādāṁstabhāsasi. You are talking like a very learned scholar. 
but you are lamenting only the body, bodily concept of life. Gatasun agatasun chanānu suchanti pandita. So far the body is concerned, either it is dead or alive. A learned man does not care for it. That is true. Now we are simply concerned with this body. Therefore, we are missing our sarupa. Therefore, missing mukti. I have already explained. Mukti means to be situated in his own original spiritual life. That is called sarupa. Sarupanubhuti. Sarupa. There is, I think there is a word used in Bhagavad Gita. The, all the persons assembled in the battlefield of Kurukshetra, after death they attain sarupa, means liberated, all liberated and situated in spiritual life, because they gave up their life in the presence of Krishna. While dying they saw Krishna. Therefore all of them after death attain sarupa. So the mukti means sarupena avasthiti, mukti hitya anatha rupam sarupena avasthiti. This is the meaning of mukti. So if we want that mukti, liberation, no more condition by the material nature, unconditional life, sagunāna samatitta etāna brahma bhūyāya kalpati, that is sarupa. So, virupa means under the control of the three modes of material nature, satakuna, rajagana, tamakuna. Of course, in the material world, the quality of brāhmaṇa, satya, sama, dhamma, titikha, arjava, jñānaṁ, vijñānaṁ, āstikaṁ, brahmakaṁ, uthāvaṁ. This is the first class quality within this material world. But that is also not sarupa. That is also not sarupa. One may become the topmost person within the human society by acquiring brahminical qualification. But that is also not sarupa. Real sarupa is above that brahminical qualification. That is Vaishnav. Vaishnav qualification. Vaishnav qualification means completely dedicated to the service of Krishna. Sarvapadi vini mukta. Even if I consider myself that I am a learned Brahmin, that is also misconception. That is also not sarupa. When one understands that I am not Brahmin, not Kshatriya, not Vaishya, not Sudra, nor American, nor Indian, nor this, nor that. Simply I am spiritual, part and parcel of Krishna, and my only business is to serve Krishna. Anukullena Krishnanu Silanam Bhakti Ruttama. That is first class life. Anukullena Krishnanu Silanam. Not Pratikulena. Pratikul means against the will of Krishna. That is pratikul. Bhakti means anukul. Just like Kansa, he was also Krishna conscious. He was always thinking of Krishna, whether Krishna is born, I have to kill him, whether this or that. You are thinking of Krishna, but pratikulena, not anukulena. One Krishna consciousness is always making plan. How to spread Krishna consciousness? And another Krishna consciousness, how to kill Krishna? So that to Krishna consciousness, to kill Krishna, that is not bhakti. Krishna consciousness, how to serve Krishna, how to spread Krishna's glories all over the world, how to make the people Krishna conscious, this Krishna consciousness is anuku. Anukulena Krishna. Cultivation of Krishna, knowledge, that is required. 
And when one is fully situated in that Krishna consciousness, that is called mukti. Mukti does not mean now I've got two hands, I'll have four hands like that. No. Mukti means change of consciousness. At this present moment, every one of us, we are thinking that I am this body, this family is my kinsman, this is my country, I have to worship it, I have to develop. All these consciousness is just opposite number of Krishna consciousness. When we shall always think of Krishna, satatam chinta tanama, always thinking of Krishna, how to spread Krishna's glories? How it is possible to adopt the means and ways and plans and all else thinking? Just like Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu did and all the Acharyas did, Goswamis did, we have to follow Mahajana Jina Gatasapantha. That Mahajana Jina Gatasapantha is explained here. Mahaseva. Mahaseva. Mahajan, to follow the Mahajan means to serve their mission. Sri Chaitanya Mano Vishtam Sapitana Jena Bhutale. Sanya Rupa Kadamayam Dadati Sapadantikam. We, Gaudiya Vaishnava, we are known as Rupanuga. Rupanuga means the followers of Rupa Goswami. So why we become followers of Rupa Goswami? Because Sri Chaitanya Manovishtam Sthapitam Jina Bhutale. He wanted to establish the mission of Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu. Manovishtam. Manovishtam. Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu. The same thing. This is called disciplic succession. Krishna wanted that everyone be surrendered to me. He personally therefore comes and he speaks Bhagavad Gita aiming at Arjuna who was perplexed in the battlefield of Purukshatra and he explained karma, jnana, yoga, jnana, so many things. But ultimately he assured Arjuna, my dear Arjuna, you are very dear friend to me. Therefore, I am speaking to you the real purpose of life. Sarva dharman paritta jumami kamsa. This is the real purpose of life. So Krishna wanted that people should take shelter of his lotus feet. Sarva dharman paritta But people misunderstood him. Therefore, Krishna came as a devotee. Sri Chaitanya Mahap. Rupa Goswami could understand. Therefore he offered his first prayer to Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu, Namo Mahabadanaya Krishna Prima Pradayat. Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu, you are the most munificent incarnation because you are not only giving the knowledge of Krishna, but you are giving the process how to love him. Krishna Prima Pradayat. So, you are Krishna. Krishna, I offer my humble obeisances to you, Krishna. Now, appeared as Krishna Chaitanya Namini. You have now appeared as Krishna Chaitanya. So, Krishna personally appeared as devotee to reestablish the mission of Krishna. Krishna wanted Sarudhanman Parittaja. And Chaitanya Mahamogu priest, Krishna consciousness, Krishna Varnam Tisha Akrishna. This is the statement in the Srimad Bhagavatam. The real identification of Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu. That is, in this age, there was talk between Nimi Maharaj and Navajogendra. So, what is the duty of the people of Kali Yuga to worship the Supreme? In that connection, Karohajan Muni, he said, 
कृष्ण वर्णन तिशा अकृष्ण सांग पांगास्त पार्षदम जगई संकीर्तन प्राय जजंती ही सुमेध दिस इज द मेथड ऑफ वर्ड से और इज दैट दैट सुप्रीम पर्सनैलिटी ऑफ गॉड है हुईज ऑल एज चांटिंग हरे कृष्ण मंत्र कृष्ण वर्णयति कृष्ण वर्ण तिशा अकृष्ण बट इज Bodily complex and is not Krishna, not blackish, but yellowish. Tisha, tisha means by the complex and or Krishna, not Krishna. And another symptom, Shanga Panga Astra Parsadam, is associated with his most confidence and devotees and expansive. Therefore, we chant, Sri Krishna Chaitanya Prabhu Nityananda Sri Adhita Kadadhar Sri Vasadi Gaurva. This is Sangha Pangasa Parsadam. This form of the Lord, Jagvain, Sankirtana, He is worshipped not by ritualistic ceremony, which is very expensive, a performance of Jagva that is not possible in this age, because there is no Jagdik Brahman at the present moment. So, this Vaidik Jagva is prohibited. In this kaliju, because they are not properly performed, it is not possible. Just like our Sri Man Pitiji was searching after a Brahman to recite the Ramayan, Sundara Kanda, he is not getting a proper Brahman. That is difficult. How you can perform yoga? There is no jagdik Brahman at the present moment. Therefore. The jagga to be performed at this moment in this kaliju is jagai shankirtanai prayu jajanti hi sumedhasa. Sumedhasa means with good brain substance. Those who have no brain substance, they are called albhomedhasa. That is also stated in the Bhagavad Gita. Tad bhavati albhomedhasa. Alpamedasa means there is no brain substance filled up with cow dung. So one should be sumedasa, sumedasa, nice brain substance. So those who are sumedasa means with good brain substance, they perform jagai saṅkīrtanai, by saṅkīrtan jagai, Hare Krishna. Just see the effect of Hare Krishna mantra, this jagā being performed, All over the world, how quickly they are capturing Krishna consciousness. Just see the effect practically. Therefore, those who are intelligent, having good brain substance, they should perform jagga, sankirtana, and worship Lord Chaitanya. So these ideas can be had only if we follow the Mahayan. Mahajan means Rupa Goswami. He understood Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu. The about Rupa Goswami, uh, it is said, "Bande Rupa Sanatana Raghujuga Sri Jiva Gopal Krishna Kirtana Gana Natana Paro Prema Amrita Muni Dhi Dhira Dhira Jana Priyo Priya Karo Nimmasaro Pujito Sri Chaitanya Kripa Bharo." भुवि भुव भारावहंतारको बंदे रूप सनातनो रघुजुगो श्री जीव गोपाल दिस इज दिस सिक्स गो शामें ऑफ वृंदावन दे लिव इन वृंदावन बाय द ऑर्डर द प्रेजेंट वृंदावन होली प्लेस वाज मेड बाय रूप गोस्वामी एंड सनातन गोस्वा दिस टू ब्रदर्स दे आर मिनिस्टर्स इन द गवर्नमेंट ऑफ Namah Hussain Shah. Practically they became Mahamedans. Their name was changed because in those days the Brahmin community was very strict. Any Brahmana accepting service, he will be immediately excommunicated. No, you are not Brahmin. Brahmana's business is not to serve others. Brahma karma sabhav. They should remain. Everyone was independent. Brahman independent, Chhatriya independent, 
वैश्य इंडिपेंडेंट सिंपली शूद्रास डिपेंडेंट सो इन दो डेज फाइव हंड्रेड इयर्स से गो दीज टू ब्रदर्स आर बॉर्न ऑफ ए वेरी हाई क्लास ब्राह्मी दे आर लर्न एड स्कॉलर बट बिकॉज दे एक्सेप्टेड द सर्विस ऑफ नवा दे आर एक्स कम्युनिकेट सो प्रैक्टिकली दे बिकम मामेड एंड द नेम्स आर चेंज दबीर खास साकर मल्लिक बट श्री चैतन्य महाप्रभु मेड देन गोस्वामी दिस इज श्री चैतन्य दे आर रिजेक्टेड बाय द ब्राह्मीण कम्युनिटी एंड श्री चैतन्य महाप्रभु मेड देन सनातन गोस्वामी रूपो गोस्वामी गोस्वामी इज नॉट ए कास्ट टाइप रूप गोस्वामी मीन्स हु हैज कंट्रोल ओवर द सेंसेस गो मीन्स सेंसेस and shami means master those who are servant of the senses they cannot become goshami that is not goshami servant of senses that is go das not goshami so the goshami bande roop sanatana urag jugo the six goshami six goshami and if we follow that foot friends rupanuga barayate then he also becomes gosha this is the process therefore in any way you go it is required mahat seva mahat seva the goshamis are mahat bhavanan janmanavante gyanavan mang prabaddate vasudeva sarvamiti samahatma sudurlava this is mahat one who has fully surrendered to the Lotus feet of Krishna. After mature experience and wisdom, bhavanam janvanam. Many many births we may go on philosophizing, Brahma, Neeti Neeti. But after many many births, this is Ganava. The Ganis they are after Brahma realizes. Krishna says. बहुनाम जन्म नाम थे ज्ञानवान मांग प्रबुद्धि आफ्टर मेनी मेनी बार्स ऑफ दिस ब्रह्म रियलाइजेशन और परमात्मा रियलाइजेशन वन में कम टू दी प्लेटफॉर्म ऑफ रियलाइजिंग द सुप्रीम पर्सनैलिटी ऑफ गॉड हु इज दैट सुप्रीम पर वासुदेव द सन ऑफ वसुदेव कृष्ण वासुदेव ओम नमो भगवते वासुदेव वासुदेव सर्वमिति स महात्मा सुबह दैट इज महात्मा नोज वासुदेव सर्वमिति दैट महात्मा इज रिक्वायर एंड इफ वी कैन सर्व सच महात्मा देन आवर पाथ ऑफ लिबरेशन मुक्ति विल बी ओपन दैट इज स्टेटेड महसेवान दारम आहूर भी मुक्ति एंड द आदर वे वन पाथ टू Mukti, another part is bondage. Two things are there: bondage and mukti. This ends side A. Please turn the tape over now for side B. Our path of liberation and mukti will be open. That is stated here. Mahasevang darom ahur bi mukti. and the other way one path to mukti another part is bondage two things are there bondage and mukti andha jathan dai rupani yamana sepi satantra urudamni baddha baddha means bound we are in our material condition and life we are bound tight Hands and legs are bound up. We cannot do anything independently. It is not possible that we must know. People are declining independence. That is not possible. That is our foolishness. Baddha, guru dhamni baddha. Just like guru means this waist. If you are bound up by ropes, just like thieves are carried and and cops and bound up on the waist, what you can do? So we are Uru Dhamni Badha. Uru means very strong, and Dhamni means raw Badha. So therefore, 
Maya's name is Gunamai. Guna, Guna means also rope. Guna. And Gunamai, three Gunamai, three ropes. You bound together, become very strong. Similarly, this Maya, the stringent laws of material nature, prakriti, is very, very strong. You cannot declare independence. That is not possible. If you really want independence, then you must save on a dharam, a urbi mukti. Then you have to take shelter of Mahaya, Mahatseva. That is the instruction of Bhagavad Gita. That tadviddhi pranipatena. First thing is that it is, this is mukti means you have to become surrender either to Krishna or Krishna's representative. Otherwise there is no question of mukti. And if you do not do this, if you think that eat, drink, be merry, and enjoy life, that is called Josit Sangha. Jositang Sangha Sangha. What is that? Tamad Vyaram. That means you are making progress towards darkness. Samadha. Here is condition of life. Nati Vidu Sartha Gatinghi Vishnu Dura Sayaji Vahiratha Manina. Matinna Krishna Parato Sato Va Mitho Vipadhita Grihabritana Adanta Govi Visadang Tamisram Puna Puna Chari Vita Charvana. These are the instructions. Prahlad Maharaj gave. He wanted to teach his father, eat his father. So his father inquired, Prahlad, how you have developed this Krishna consciousness? So Prahlad began to smile and said to his father, Matinna Krishna Parato Satu Ba. He did not address his father, my dear father. He used to address him as the best of the Asuras, Asurabhaj. The sadhu manne Asurabhaj. So he said, my dear father, Matinna Krishna Parato Satu Ba. The, to become Krishna conscious is not so easy. Parato satoba. Even if you hear instruction from others or if you speculate yourself, it is not possible. Matinna Krishna parato satoba. Mithovi or making by assembly, conference. Why? Na grihabhrtanam. If you have this intention that I shall live in this material world, I shall become happy in this material world, then there is no question of becoming advanced in Krishna consciousness. Matin na Krishna paratu satoba mitho vipadita grihabhrata. Oh, why they are so much attached? Adanta gobhi. Because they are not Goshanis. Adanta. Adanta means uncontrolled. Go means senses. They have given freedom to the senses, whatever you like you do. So the result is that exactly if you let loose your horses, whatever you like you can do, then it will go and cause you to fall down in a ditch. Adanta gobi. Similarly, if we give freedom to the senses, Adanta gobi. Vishatāṅgatamisraṁ, we go to the darkest region of hellish condition of life. And what is that? puna puna charvita charmanana Again and again the same disease, birth, death, old age and disease. puna puna charvita charmanana This life or that life, the birth, death, old age, disease will continue. So if you have got determination that we shall continue, this life of birth, death, old age, and disease, and let loose our senses, do whatever you like, then there is no question of liberation. There is no liberation. Therefore it is say, samaddhāraṁ jositāṁ saṅgi saṅgaṁ. Jositāṁ saṅgi saṅgaṁ means, josit means omen, generally. The omen is supposed to be the representative of māyā. So either you directly keep relation, or you keep relation with persons who are very much fond of uh, Joshi. And in both ways you have to go 
directly to the darkest region of Hades condition or tamadharam. Therefore, our Vedic civilization is, the first teaching is brahmacāri, first teaching. How to become brahmacāri? There are many saintly persons, they are akhanda brahmacāri or avāla brahmacāri. They avoid. It is not only for men, it is meant for women also, because here we are dressed like men and women. Otherwise the mentality is men to enjoy. Purusha. Purusha means who wants to enjoy. And Joshi means enjoy. So our relationship in this material world, either in the dress of woman or man, the mentality is purusha, how to enjoy. Mentality is purusha. So when we give up this mentality, enjoyer, because we are not actually enjoyer. Enjoyer is Krishna. Krishna says, Bhoktaram Jagatapasam Sarvalupu Mahesaram Srihidam Sarvabhutanam Gyatyamam Arjuna's address is Krishna. Parabrahma Paramadhama Pavittam Paramambhama Purusham Shasatam You are the only Purusha. Shasatam. So we are simply thinking of becoming Purusha. Enjoy. But we are not Purusha. You are all prakriti. It is described in the Bhagavad Gita, the Jiva Bhuta. Aparayam itastu vidhime prakriti para. Prakriti, another prakriti is there. This material prakriti, humi rapa nalabhaya. They are my bhinna prakriti. Bhinna prakriti me astadha. But besides that, there is another prakriti. Prakriti means, who is that prakriti? Jiva Bhuta, the living entity. The living entity is prakriti. It's not purusha. Constitutionally, prakriti means the things which are enjoyed. That is called prakriti. And the enjoyer is called purusha. So nobody of us, either men or women, we are not purusha. We are all prakriti, constitutionally. And that is called hityānatha-rūpam sarūpena-vastiti. When we live as prakriti, not as purusa, that is called mukti. This is the definition of mukti. Mahaseva-dāraṁ ahur-vimukti. Every one of us we are thinking as purusa, enjoy. That is the fight between, going on. Just like in Western countries, the prakriti is the woman, they are also fighting. We must have equal rights with the man. So this is going on. So this is all conditional life. The so-called purusha life or so-called prakriti life, unless we have got enlightened man, what is our real constitutional position, that we can learn only by the association of mahat. Mahaseva dharma mukte. That is the Vedic process. Tad vijnana artham saguru meva vigache. We must take shelter. Krishna also says that tad vidhi panipate na paripasne na sevaya upadakshanti tad jnanam jnanina tatta darshina. And everywhere in Srimad Bhagavatam also the same thing is explained. Tasmad gurum prapaddeta. Jigyasu sre uttamam. If you are inquisitive to understand transcendental truth, the absolute truth, the guru is to have a guru is not a fashion. Now it, it has become a fashion. If somebody shows some jugglery, and people become very much anxious to accept such guru. No. Guru means tasmad gurum prabhadeta. Who requires a guru? Jigyasu, Sreya Uttamam. One who is very much anxious to know about the ultimate benefit of life. For him, guru is required. Not a fashion. 
Just like we keep a dog as a passion. Nowadays it is a fashion to keep a dog. So don't keep a guru like a dog. And who will hear you? Come on, come on. Yes. Not like that. Guru requires that where you can surrender, not like a dog, but master, where you can surrender. The smart guru prapadita. Prapadita means you must surrender. And why you should surrender? Jigyasu. If you are actually inquisitive, inquirer, what about? Sreya uttamam. Sreya means the ultimate benefit of life. And prayer means immediate benefit of life. There are two things, sreya and prayer. The human life is meant for sreya, and animal life is meant for prayer. Immediate benefit. That is called prayer. And sreya means ultimate benefit of life. The one who is inquisitive to understand about the ultimate goal of life, for him there is need of guru, not a fasha. Tasmat guru prapadi to jigyasu sre uttama. Then what is that guru? Then he also explained. Sardi parita nisnatam brahmani upasamasrayam. Sardi means Vedic literature. Vedic, he has drowned himself. He has bathed himself in the ocean of Veda. Shabdi parit nisnatam. Yes, then just like if you take bathing in a river, dip down, you become refreshed. Similarly, one has to take shabdi parit nisnatam. And what is the symptom? How I shall know that he has taken bathing fully in the ocean of Veda? Brahmani uposamasra. He has finished. All desires are material, happiness, all distress. He is Brahmani, Vasamasa. He has taken shelter of Brahma, the same thing, for Brahma, Krishna, Sarvadharma, and Paritajya, Mami, Kamsarana. One who has taken fully shelter under the lotus feet of Parabrahma, Krishna, he have to take shelter of such a guru, otherwise he will not be able to get out of this classes of Maya. The smart guru prapadde. So every shastra is go. So therefore, here it is said that if you are actually anxious to become free from this material conditional life, then you must accept uh, the service of Mahaseva. Uh, Mahat means one who has fully surrendered to Krishna. He is Mahat. Vāsudeva Sarvamit, one who has taken this conclusion, Vāsudeva Sarva, sa mahātmā sudhullav, mahātmā nastamāṁ prārtha devī prakiti māsta, bhajanti ananda manasva. These are the formulas. So mahātmā means the, the fully surrendered soul unto the lotus feet of Krishna he is the first-class mahātmā, sa mahātmā sudhullav. Uh, not ordinary Mahatma, but Sudurla. And what are the signs? Mahatma Anastamang Pratha, Devi Prakis, Bhajanti Anandamans. He has no other business except worshipping Krishna. That's all. Ma may come. In this way, if we find the opportunity, then there is possibility of mukti, mahasevang dharo mahudni mukti. And if we associate with the Josi Sangi, those who are desirous of enjoying this material world under different pleas, you, if you associate with them, then you glide down to the darkest region of hell's condition of life. And the next verse says, it is said, Mahantase Samachitta. Then what is the symptoms of Mahatma? So he says, I mean to say, Rishabh Dev says, Samachitta. Uh, equilibrium, not disturbed by material condition. Samachitta. Samasarvi The same thing. Samachitya, prasanta, peaceful. Prasanta, prom means pishrupena. Fully peaceful. And when one can become fully prasanta, fully peaceful, when he has no more desire. 
अन्नाविलासिता सुन्नम नमोर डिजा ब्रह्म भूत प्रसन्न आत्मा एवरीथिंग इज डिस्क्राइब द प्रशांत आत्मा इट इज डिस्क्राइब इन द चैतन्य चरितम सो लॉन्ग यू विल वॉन्ट समथिंग देर इज नो क्वेश्चन ऑफ प्रशांत वॉन्ट तो दैट फॉर चैतन्य चरितम इज कार सेस भुक्ति मुक्ति सिद्धि कामी सकली अशांत भुक्ति मीन्स कर्मीज कर्मीज मीन दो आर वर्किंग वेरी हार्ड टू गेट सम मेटीरियल बेनिफिट देर कॉल कर्मी आई दर इन दिस वर्ल्ड और द नेक्स्ट वर्ल्ड और हेवनली प्लैनेट देर आर डिफरेंट टाइप्स ऑफ कर्मीज सो दे भुक्ति भुक्ति मीन्स भो सेंस एंड जॉय देर कॉल कर्मीज सो भुक्ति और मुक्ति मुक्ति मीन्स लिबरेशन to get out of this material contamination that is called mukti swarupi namasthiti but yeah, just like the ganis they want mukti sadhijyo mukti to become one with the supreme so mukti bhukti mukti and siddhi siddhi means yogic perfection animalog ima prapti eight kinds of yoga siddhi so the yogis the ganis and the kurmis they want something they want something therefore they are not prashanta as soon as so long you will want if there cannot be peacefulness there is no no question of peacefulness chaitanya bhukti mukti siddhi kami sakali ashanta they are not prashanta krishna bhakta nishkam atay vishanta krishna bhakta He does not want anything. Chaitan Mahaprabhu is teaching that. Na dhana na jana na sundari kavita na bajagadi sakamai mama janmani janmani ishare bhavata dhukti rahit ki tai. This is called shanti. I don't want it. Na dhana na jana na sundari kavita na bajagadi sakamai. This is bhukti. Karmi is they want. They want many followers, many voters, so that I can become minister or president. So Chaitanya Mahaprabhu said, "No, I don't want many voters. Na jano, na sundarin kavita, na that very beautiful wife. These are material demands to get money or wealth, sumptuously to get a good wife and many followers." Many workers, a Chaitan Mahaprabhu denies. Na dhana na jana na sundari, kabi tang ba jagadi saka. Then what do you want? Mama janmani janmani isare. He doesn't want mukti even. Otherwise, how he says janmani janmani? Mukti means no more janma. But Chaitan Mahaprabhu says mama janmani janmani. He doesn't matter. Mama janmani janmani isare bhavata. अहोई तो की भक्त दैट्स ऑल दैट फॉर इफ यू वॉन्ट टू बिकम प्रशांत फुल्ली सेटिस्फाय जैसे एक ध्रुव महाराज ही वेन टू टू दी फॉरेस्ट एंड अंडर मैन सीवियर तपस्या टू सी दी सुप्रीम पर्सनैलिटी ऑफ वॉर्ड एंड बट वेन यू एक्चुअली सॉ ही ही सेव शामीन किता थो उसमी बरंग न जाज I don't want any minute. This is prasad. No disturbing prasna for any personal material benefit. That is all prasad. That is stated here. Mahanta. This is mahanta. Samachitta prasanta vimannava vimannava because a devotee has to suffer so many tribulation. That is the history of all devotees. But he is never angry. He is never angry. Then he falls down. Bimal Rama, just like God, they say, "Cry." He was being crucified. He still he was praying, "God, these people they do not know what they are doing." Bimal Rama, never angry. Tithik Sabha, Karuni ka, Sadhu me, very tolerant. That is taught by Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu. तिनाद भी सुनी चीन तरो रूपी सही सुनना तो फर्स्ट क्वालिफिकेशन साधु ए तिथिक सब 
and kai at the same time karunika there are many instances that pulhad mara he tolerated so many tortures even by his father titikshava and at the same time he was thinking how to deliver these persons who are not krishna conscious there is karunika he is personally being tortured but the, at the same time he is thinking how to do good to others this is how vitik sabha karunik sri da sarva bhutana he is friend not only to the human society but he is friend to the ant him a devotee he does not like that even an ant should be killed no sri da sarva bhutana vitik sabha karunik sri da sarva bhutana अजात शत्र ही डज नॉट क्रिएट एनी एनिमी बट अनफॉर्चुनेटली द डिमॉन्स बिकम सीज एनिम वॉट कैन यू डी दर्वभूता नाम अजात शत्र शांता अगेन दिस सेम वर्ड प्रशांत फुल्ली सेटिस्फाइड ही हेज नथिंग टू अ हैंकर ऑफ थर बिकॉज ही हेज नॉट कृष्ण वही शुड हैंकर शांत प्रशांत फिजिक्स अब कारुणिक स्वीद सर्वभूता नजात सत्व शांत साधव साधुभूषण दिस इज दाधु देर फॉर कृष्ण से भगवदीता अभी चे सुदुराचार भजते मामन भाग साधु रेव समंतव ही साधु नॉर साधु दिस इज साधु देर फॉर हियर इज द सेम थिंग विमन्न वुहिद साधव जी so we have to approach sadhu we have to approach devotee we have to approach prashanta and if we become fortunate to serve him then the liberation the path of liberation is open thank you very much